everybody. Today we'll be covering how to take a PDF and how to convert it to an image counterpart. So this is the PDF we will be trying to convert. It's just a sample PDF that I found online. And what we will be using is we'll be using a library called PDF to Image, which is basically just a wrapper for PDF to PPM or PDF to Cairo command line tools. So if you're on a Linux distro, most of them, like it says here, are already shipped with them, so you shouldn't have to install anything. If you're on a Mac, brew command, brew install poplar, if you have homebrew available as your package manager. And for Windows, it's a bit more involved here. But if you follow this link right here, and you have to build it, then pass in the bin path into your convert from path, you should be able to do the same thing. But instead of doing these three commands, I highly recommend using Anaconda or a virtual environment because the command is much simpler here. So all we have to do is just do this command here to install Poplar. So now this should take a couple minutes to run, maybe a little less. So that took about a minute to get done, so it didn't take too long at all, but now we do have Poplar installed in our Conda environment. So now the next step is to actually download the library, PDF to image. So we can use that using pip, so we can just do pip install pdf to image and now we have the library installed we're ready to get started so let me just make this full screen so the first thing we want to do is we want to get from pdf to image import convert from path so if you see these red underlines after you try to import convert from path from PDF to image, then that means one of two things. It means either your files haven't indexed properly yet, so your editor just hasn't updated to know that it's actually installed the library, or you're not using the currently correct Python interpreter. To find out which one of these is, let's just try running it. So I try to run example, it's saying no module name PDF to image found, which means I don't have the correct Python interpreter selected. So let's go change that. Come to Preferences, Python Interpreters, and No Interpreter Selected. So let's add a new interpreter. I want a new Conda environment. It's already in an existing environment. So it's under Test. And then under Bin, we're just going to select the default Python. And OK. And now it should be loading up all the packages with this environment. There we press OK. And now we can see that now it was able to correctly find the PDF to image library. So now let's just zoom in a little bit. And the first thing we want to do is just create a function called convert PDF. And it's going to take our PDF path, it's going to take our save directory, and it's going to take a resolution. So the reason we need a resolution is because when we try to save our PDF images, it needs to be saved at a certain resolution. So let's just say resolution equals 400. So I believe that stands for 400 DPI, which is, I believe, dots per linear inch. But basically, the higher the number, the greater the resolution is. So now that we have that, the first thing we want to do is we want to get all the pages from the PDF. So we do that by doing pages. And then we do convert from path, which we imported and we're going to pass in the PDF path and the resolution. And this is going to create an iterable of all the pages at that certain resolution. So now let's just use the save name. So save name is going to be, let's just get the name with the extension. Right, if you imagine we're passing in a full path here, we can just do PDF path and let's R split on it. And this is going to give us the rightmost image name. So in this case here, this is going to give us, for example, sample.pdf without any of the precursor before. So to just get the name, we're just going to use name with the extension. We're going to right split again. And now we're going to split by dot. And we want to grab the first index there. So now this should give us just the name of the PDF. And then what we want to do is we want to cycle over all the pages in the PDF. So let's use that using enumerate. And the reason we want to use enumerate or an IDX is because the sample PDF might have 10, 20, 100 pages. 
and they can't all be saved with the same name, otherwise they'd overwrite one another. So we want to have some way to specify that these are different pages from the same PDF. So the easiest way to do that is by having like an IDX, which can be thought of almost as a page number, which we can use to save as the file path save name. So then we just want to do page.save on this iterable, right? We're going to pass in here the save path name. So let's just do save directory name. And then let's give it the IDX. And we want to save it as a PNG. And to specify we want to save it as a PNG instead of page.save, we say PNG here as well too. And there you go. This sets up our convert PDF commands. Just to run over it, we pass it in a PDF path and a save directory. And we also have a default resolution of 400. So then we load in all the pages from the PDF at a resolution of 400. We get the name of the PDF. And then we iterate over all the pages and we save them in the provided save directory as a PNG format. So let's just give that a double space. And then we just want to do is convert PDF. So it's got here, let's copy path the reference. Let's copy absolute path. So the first path we want to pass is the PDF path, which is going to be that. And then we want to pass in the save directory. So in this case, that's just going to be the same directory. And now let's run this. And there you go, our process is finished. So we should now, once this is updated, I believe right now currently it's indexing, so it's not going to pop up right away. But let's just open this up in Finder. So if I open this up in Finder, we see the sample 0.png. We double click it. And we can see here, it's the same PDF from before, right? So this was the PDF on the left-hand side and the same sample PDF as a PNG on the right-hand side. So as you can imagine, this is a very quick and easy way to convert a large PDF or many PDFs into PNG images all at once. So just to run through what we did again today, first thing we did is we made sure we had Poplar available. So if you're running a Linux distro, it should already be available. If not, there are a couple different methods to install it. One was using a package manager using brew. Another one for Windows was building the binary yourself and then passing the path. And then finally, the easiest option and the best option, in my opinion, was using Conda if you have a virtual environment and just installing Poplar from there. Once we did, we also had to install the PDF to image library so we can get the convert from path, which uses those Poplar commands under the hood. We created this convert PDF function which loaded in the PDF as an interval of pages, and then we save each page to the specified save destination. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and useful. If you guys did, please consider liking and subscribing, and see you guys next time.